Hi, this is Kathy from the White Pigeon Library. We've got some new books. We've got the Museum of Lost Quilts. Yeah, it's by Jennifer Chiaverini. I'll butcher her name, her name yet again. It's number 22 in the Elm Creek Quilt Series, about a retreat for quilters that was started, I think, in, in Waterville, um, Maine. And um, in this one, one of the, the youngest founding members of the Quilt Society has been working on her master's at the University of Chicago in Chicago and she has come back for a summer. She's working on her thesis. She just had to have, have the deadline extended so she's kind of concerned about it but she gets sort of distracted by trying to uh, put together an historical quilt show and while she's doing that she's uncovering some kind of you know seedy things about Waterville's history that the local leadership wants to keep buried. So, if you like the series, it's number 22. We've got Mania by Lionel Schreier. This sounds kind of interesting. It's um, life in a past, uh, an alternate life, alternate past, years 2011, and the mental parody movement has gained um, Credence, and it's the movement is, um, uh, I guess, based on the idea that nobody's smarter than anybody else. It's a uh, mental parody. Americans embrace it. A lot of parallels are drawn to what's going on now, and um, all tests or anything, grades, any employment qualifications that would be based on, you know, how smart you are. Kids are getting expelled for saying the word stupid, um, which is rude, but often, you know, appropriate. Um, when a college English professor is outraged and hates to see her gifted students crushed in elementary school, basically, doesn't believe in any kind of dogma, and um, is trying to find ways around becoming a delusional society where being educated or being smart is a bad thing. So you can see the parallels or not, but in any case, it sounds, sounds fun. We've got another Tom Clancy, Jack Ryan novel. This is number 24. And of course, it's not written by Tom Clancy, long dead. It's written by Andrews and Wilson. Um, I don't know how you do that, but apparently that's the thing. You take a character and just it goes through generations. You don't care if the author dies or gets tired of doing it. In this particular one, this major nuclear sub is on the way to New York. There's some sort of disruption in the Russian army. Nobody's clear who sent it or what it's doing or what exactly is still on that submarine. It's kind of a um, sequel to Red October. And back then, Jack Ryan was a CIA analyst, and he resolved that happily. Now he's president of the United States, and hopefully he'll resolve it again. We've got a Stephen King, You Like It Darker, and these are 12 short stories that sound kind of fun. Um, I guess people said, you know, go darker in your writing, as if it isn't dark enough already. And he said, sure, I love to go darker. So these are 12 short stories. One is a sequel to Cujo called Rattlesnakes. Ick. But um, if you like Stephen King, this might be a, a good bet. I like short stories and it'd be a good way, if you aren't a big Stephen King reader, it'd be a good way to sort of jump in. In any case, that's what we've got. We'll have more next week. Thanks.